Welcome back to At Home with Roby. I'm Patrick McIsaac from Roby Electric, along with Trent Haston from the Roby Family of Companies. We are your hosts. Trent, all I got to say is, wow, that was awesome. Man, if you want to get taught something, you need to go talk to Dan Morrill. I'm telling you, Dan Morrill has got it going on. We, we, we got educated. I think we knew a little bit about Camp Green, but certainly not to the extent that Dan bestowed upon us in the last two segments. Um, and what they're doing is great. I mean, we're coming up on our 100th anniversary. That's a really big deal. I mean, it's what Brian said. Three divisions were formed out of out of Camp Green, 1917, roughly to 1920. And and, and Brian told us on, on his way out, he said those divisions went on throughout to World War Two, World War Two, Vietnam. Uh, you know, I appreciated uh, Dan's patriotism. I, my father being a Purple Heart veteran, uh, two tours in Vietnam, so. I, I agree with you. It, it, is, it was the 3rd, 4th, and 41st Infantry Divisions were started here in Charlotte. So anyone listening that might have been in that Vietnam era, I mean, they, they might not know that, that, that their their roots were here, which is really cool. No, I, it, it is cool. And, and another cool thing is I like old houses. Yeah. The Roby family is, is pretty well known. Andrew Roby, our custom residential company, which is our 67-year-old business, uh, <clears throat> does a lot of historic work. We, we we work for the historic commissions and societies. We we we, we present in front of them a lot. We've done uh we did the you know the car house and and we've done a lot of the springs properties down in Fort Mill. So I've always really been intrigued by the Dowd House and wanted to know really what was going on with it because I cut through when I instead of going all the way up Moorhead and taking a right on Wilkinson, I'll cut through the neighborhood after I leave my office. And uh, I always look at that house. It's good to learn something about it, and it'll be cool to cool to see inside of it because it's a historic house. Well, and I think you'll be able to do that. So, what's going on uh, is it's a, a celebration. It's historic Camp Green Festival and World War One Centennial. Uh, this is going on on July fifteenth. I think it gets started around ten thirty. They're gonna have a bugler, and this thing goes. I mean, they have stuff going on all throughout the day, which is free of charge. I mean, anybody can come to this uh, to celebrate Camp Green, learn a little history, check out the Dowd House. But I mean, it, it, you're talking about you're looking at this, the third, fourth, and. Uh, Infantry Division Color Guard and Band are going to be at 1040. Uh, Bugler sounds at 1045. Military units assembling at 1055. So literally from 1030 to 3, it's a full day of cool things are going to go on to celebrate the history of Camp Green, World War I, and, and the military in general. Uh, so I, I think it's going to be a great event. And if you're listening, I mean, July 15th, get plenty of time. Put on your calendar now. I think it's cool. That, yeah, Charlotte's emba- em- embracing uh, our history and and our military history, I think that's great. So, I know you oftentimes have a bugler out at the McIsaac household uh, for, yes. for Scarlet. Uh, yeah. How <laughs> often? Right. Like once every three weeks, that's right. you no. bugle that, it yeah. down. <laughs> so, uh, no. The funny it's thing is, I'm gonna make a little joke. It's a kazoo. Brian said he wasn't a military guy. We're gonna listen to see if he's listening to the show. I was about to ask him. I don't want to embarrass him in front of Mister Morrill. But why was he wearing combat boots? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even notice. You wear, hey, you wearing cowboy boots? That's like the original. Well, cowboy combat. boots are different like the, than combat. That's boots. like the original combat boot. He had it? them laced up, brother. I hear you. <laughs> nah, he he didn't. I'm kidding. But the old joke you used to say back when you were in elementary and middle school, for some reason you tell your buddy had on combat boots or his mama wore combat boots or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about, man. I'm just gonna go with that. It. Wasn't in your joke repertoire. Uh, no, my joke repertoire. Is, is thin. I need to. I need to ask ask uh, ask Scarlett to teach me a few more. I guess. Well, hey, let's talk about wh- one other thing before we get going. It, the July fifteenth. They're also having a gala. Gala. July fifteenth. Mm-hmm. Is it gala or gala? It's a gula. Gula. Yeah. All right. So we're, we're gonna have a gula down on Wilkinson. <laughs> we're we're, we're con- we can barely speak English. We're contractors. I right? mean, so, uh, you think I'm gonna say it right anyway? <laughs> yeah. si- I'm like forty two percent on Siri success. I, I had to stop. You up, I fired right. Siri. I set you up right. I'm like, man. She's like, sir, can you make your words a little tighter? It's like, no. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. But, but th- th- this is from <clears throat> 6 to 11. And this is actually, this is an opportunity to, to come out. And, and obviously, Goodwill is showcasing, or showcasing their new facility on Wilkinson, which is first class. Uh, and that's from 6 p.m. to 11. I think there is a fee of like $75 a ticket. Um, and they have all kinds of stuff lined up. Um, 7 p.m., doors open. I think seating reservations. There's a buffet, uh, musical enter- entertainment by Ed DeMint. 
Um, it looks like Michael Collins is a master of ceremonies. Uh, Jennifer Roberts is going to be there. So it's going to be a big deal, Trent. And uh, it's obviously on the, the night of the, of the uh, uh, celebration. Well, I want to pump up what, what the city is doing uh, back in this corridor. If you go down towards Allegheny Street, yeah. uh, they're building a new, redoing, rehabbing a property there that used to be an old ATD, American Tire Distributors Distribution Center. And now I think it's going to be our whole uh, a- ambulatory medic, care facility. Medic, yeah, medic It's really, 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 yeah, medic headquarters for the whole city of charlotte mecklenburg county it's really beautiful architecture go mm-hmm. out there and check it out on your way to coyote joe's friday night one two three nine oh, i don't know and, what you're talking about <clears throat> just at all a little, a little more history <laughs> and then uh this goodwill man so about three weeks ago I, I had a busy morning i said i'm gonna go eat lunch by myself i said i need to be able to get on the wi-fi so I was thinking about my pop, so I went out, uh, went over to Cracker Barrel, and I walked in, and I said, "I'm, I'm gonna get on the computer after eating my lunch. Do you have Wi-Fi?" They said, "No, Cracker Barrel need to get some Wi-Fi." And so mm-hmm. I went to Goodwill and asked them. They do have Wi-Fi because it's an employment opportunity center and everything. They were so nice. The food was so delicious. And the architecture there is awesome. It's right if if you're headed out of town on Wilkinson, it's right after you pass under Billy Graham Parkway. So I'm going to give a little plug. Right before you get to the airport, right? That's right. New entrance to the airport. So, Trent, July 15th, Historic Camp Green with an E, historiccampgreen.com. Check it out. Learn a little bit about the history. It's a big deal for the west side. Um, This is awesome. That's it. Thank you for joining us today. Put that on your calendar. Appreciate you listening to At Home with Roby. Have a wonderful Sunday.